Okay, this is this is number 87. Uh, we're supposed to find the one full respiratory cycle of this function. Uh, we're supposed to find this number of cycles per minute, and then we're supposed to sketch a graph. I'll I'll probably leave the sketching part to you. Um, so this is a function. It's supposed to model the the respiratory cycle. Okay, so the respiratory cycle. Um, goes up and down, up and down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, all the way through. Uh, this number is going to tell us how high we're going to go, 0 0.85. And this uh, this over here is going to determine how uh, big our waves are. Okay. So part A says, and, and this looks difficult, it really does, I get that. Um, but uh, for the last few problems in this assignment, you are finding the A value, and the B value, and then you're using the B value to find the period. Well, in this problem, it says find the time for one full respiratory cycle for part A. Well, that's just a fancy way to say what's the period of this function. Okay, so the period always deals with the B value. So what is the B value in this case? What are we multiplying T by? We're multiplying T by pi over 3. Okay, and our formula for the period is a period or cycle, in this case, is going to equal 2 pi over b. Well, 2 pi over pi over 3. Whenever you divide a number by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is going to equal 2 pi times 3 over pi. The pi's cancel. You're left with 6. Okay, and then we got to figure out what this function was in. And if you look in the directions, it says t is in seconds. Okay, so our period must also be in seconds. If this distance, we go in this direction, is in seconds, this must be 6 seconds from this wave beginning to this wave beginning. So our cycle is 6 seconds. Part B asks for, well, okay, six seconds, how many of these are we going to have in a minute? So if it's one cycle every six seconds, how many are we going to have in a minute? Uh, how many cycles per minute? All right, so this is just a simple conversion. We've got to figure out how many seconds in a minute. So we'll multiply by 60 seconds over one minute. The seconds will cancel. You're left with one cycle times 60 divided by 6 equals one minute. So our answer then would be 10 cycles per minute. Okay, so all we're doing is taking 60 divided by 6. And then I already kind of have a, a, a small graph for you, so I'll just let you finish the graph. This is number 87. I uh, hope this helps.